Hey, welcome back to Fiscal Voyage. I'm Felix. And in this video, we're going to do a quick stock analysis on three cheap, undervalued, high yield, safe dividend companies that are under the price of $20. Um, the way I found out these dividend companies is the same steps that I provide in my ebook, which there's a description down below. Um, in the ebook, there's five easy steps to find companies like these. So let's get started. The first company we're going to talk about is Um Group. Okay, here's stock number one, Um Group, ticker symbol UNM. Uh, the company is a top disability insurer in both the United States and United Kingdom and also offers other insurance products including accident, critical illness, and life insurance. If we look at the fundamentals for 2019, um had adjusted earnings of five dollars and forty four cents net, mar net margin at nine point two percent return on equity eleven point eight uh, the dividend payout ratio is very low at twenty one percent and they have an outstanding dividend yield of seven point eight eight percent uh, it's been growing dividends for eleven consecutive years um, the last time they they uh, two thousand eight two thousand nine they actually froze the dividends uh, which is still un understanding considering a lot of companies were cutting it and they announced uh, dividends uh, uh, last month as well so they're still paying it out um, they have a five-year dividend growth rate of 11.9 percent with a five-year dividend yield average of 2.55 percent so almost 500 basis point uh, higher at current prices uh, the most recent dividend increase was last year at 9.6 percent um, so the next dividend announcement should be an increase. Um, in the beginning of 2000, the company was growing earnings and then it dropped off, but then they picked up and it's been consistent ever since. Um, but from, you know, of course with the coronavirus, uh, earnings is expected to be a little lower uh, by 3% versus uh, last year of $5.44. Um, but you can see the price drop tremendously throughout uh, the last two or three years and right now at a PE of 2.69 as yesterday closed. Um, if the company were to revert back to the mean which it looks like it likes to follow the normal PE of 9 and even if it go, doesn't go back to 9 if say it goes to a PE of 7 which is too low um, you see tremendous growth opportunity here uh, for, for capital appreciation. Um, if it were to go back to even to the 9 PE based on uh, 2020 expected earnings of $5.27, you could have a return of, of uh, 242%. That's excluding dividends, so that's, that's something to look at there. Um, let me look at the forecast. Um, so like I said, even if earnings are flat, as you can see here, um, you, in the next two years or so, you can see an annual return of 10% if the price were to stay at this level. And most of that uh, appreciation will come from the high dividend yield of 7.88%. Um, so, and another thing to look at here is the analyst scorecard. Uh, analyst has been practically uh, right on the um, expected earnings. So that's real good news there. Um, so, you can see here, I like to look, use the 10 years um, average. Um, so as you can see, it dropped the PE from 9.3 to 8.8. .8. So like I said, even if it went to 8 or even 7, it has tremendous uh, potential for capital appreciation and a high dividend yield. If we look at the fair price here, CFRA at $45, Morningstar at $26, Fast Graph as we just saw, $46, Yahoo 21, and my dividend discount model analysis, uh, which is cons uh, conservative, at $24. Averaging out to five, we get a fair price of $32.96. Basically, the company is undervalued by over 122% at current prices. So it's extremely undervalued. I actually been buying shares of this company. So, but make sure you do your own due diligence and research uh, this one. Uh, it's a good one here. So that's why I have a buy recommendation. I've been buying it. Um, the high dividend yield, the safe payout ratio, um, earnings is going to be slightly lower this year versus last year, but projected to grow uh, after that. And uh, that's why I have a buyer recommendation. Stock number two is People's United Financial. Ticker symbol PBCT is American bank holding company that owns uh, People's United Bank. Uh, it operates 403 branches in uh, Connecticut, southeastern New York State. Uh, Vermont to name a few and its second largest full-service bank in New England and one of the largest in Northeast 
and the 46th largest in the U U.S. Um, for the fundamentals, the company had earnings of $1.39 last year, uh, net margin at, at a, a good rate of uh, almost 30%, return on equity uh, low, 7.2%. Uh, it has a pretty high rate uh, dividend payout ratio of, of almost 67%, but has a nice yield at 6.53%. percent has been paying dividends for 28 consecutive years, growing dividends, and actually grew dividends in the 28-29 financial crisis, where a lot of financial banks and institutions were cutting dividends. This one continued to grow it. Um, it has a five-year dividend growth rate, however, of only 1.5%. And the most recent increase was on uh, April at 1.4%. So the dividend growth is very low, but for those uh, investors looking for income, this one is definitely a possibility. Um, the, the company has a five-year dividend yield average of 4.17, which is um, almost uh, 200 basis point plus uh, for the current yield at 6.53. As you can see here from the beginning of the year, uh, all financials and insurance company dropped just like uh, uh, People's United here uh, from the high to the lows of as of yesterday um, total return of negative 33% um, because of the pandemic uh, but you can see here the the blue line I'm not looking at this because of the period of uh, 2001 to 2006 caused this high PE so we shortened this graph to 10 years uh, this looks a little more better and you can see in the beginning of from 2013 to 2017 the company was following the blue line here um, and now it's under both the, the blue and orange lines indicating a undervalued um, if bought now and if analysts are correct at a dollar and fifteen for 2020 and dollar fifteen for 2021 um, you can see possible uh, return of 37% to 2021. Um, that's if the company goes back to its PE of 15. I don't think it should be at 15, maybe around 11 or 12. Um, but if we go to performance here or forecasting, if we look at normal PE, so say for example, if the company were to go to a PE of 11, close to 12, you, you still see an annual return of almost 20%, which is, which is outstanding. Um, say the company had a P of 10 uh, an annual return of 9.4 percent which is still great um, of course most of that return is coming from the dividend of 6.53 percent if we look at the fair price CFRA has a fair price of 13 dollars Morningstar 15 the fast graph as we just saw 13 and my dividend discount model analysis at 14 averaging out to 5 we get a fair price of 12 dollars and 88 cents Currently, the company goes for $11.35, so it's undervalued by 13.5%. So it's not dramatically undervalued, um, but it's a nice dividend yield for those seeking um, uh, income, uh, like uh, investors that are retired and looking for additional income. So I think this is a good opportunity. That's why I have a buying recommendation. I personally don't own shares of this company, but uh, it has great history of dividend growth you know it's low 1.5 percent of a past five year average but the current year makes up for that so that's why i have a buy recommendation and the third and final stock is enterprise products partners uh epd is american mystery natural gas and crude oil pipeline company the fundamentals uh for mlps we look at operating cash flows and last year they had two dollars and 99 cents a share Net margin at 14 cents, uh, 14 percent, and return on equity 18.8 percent. The dividend payout ratio is is very modest here at, at 58 percent, um, with this high dividend yield of 9.36, and the five-year average for the dividend is 6.25, so it's almost over 300 basis point at uh, current prices, um, and it has a consecutive years of 23 years of dividend growth, which is outstanding. Um, five-year dividend growth rate of 4.2 so the growth rate is low and, re and most recently they, they increased it by 0.6 percent in January and um, so that's you know concerning with the growth rate however they are still paying out the dividend they just announced it uh, I think sometime in uh, April so that's great news there earnings is based on operating cash flow uh, because since it's an MLP uh, we look at uh, the operating cash flow here and 
I'm not even looking at the orange line or blue line because it looks like the company likes to follow the uh, dividend uh, payout line here. You can see here it goes back to it, goes back to it, it went under it, then it went back to it. It was uh, over it and then went right back to it and it was using that as basically the baseline. And it looks like it's going to be doing that same thing. So if we do a 10 year graph here, um, as you can see, you know, it bounced from there, got to it, bounced from there, got to it, bounced to there, and then it looks like um, uh, the that's where it's heading towards to next. Um, if we look at the forecasting, um, based on normal PE at eight to um, well, PE uh, price to operating cash flow of eight, you can see a thirty-six percent return in the next in two years, twenty-four uh, percent annual return. Uh, based on uh, analyst expectations. So we'll see how that goes. If we look at the fair price, CFRA has a fair price of $23. Morningstar, 25. Fast graph, again, as we just saw, $25.70. Averaging out to five, we get a fair price of $24.88. Currently, it goes for a little under $20, undervalued by 30%. I actually bought shares of this company um, beginning of April, so I'm very happy of how it's been doing. Um, so with that, that's why I have a buying recommendation. Uh, love the high dividend yield. Um, it's a safe dividend yield uh, with the almost 60% payout ratio, uh, 20 plus years of dividend growth, and you know it's very attractive at this uh, price and uh, very uh, undervalued. So, but make sure you do your own due diligence. And there you have it. The three companies that are under $20 that are safe uh, dividend payout ratios with high yield. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one and stay safe.